One of the themes of this show is innovation. Everything's moving so quickly, don't you think? And you know, we're in this fourth industrial revolution and the digital transformation, you hear all these buzzwords. Yeah. But how are people actually becoming innovative and how are they taking traditional um, entrepreneurship tracks and making them innovative? So what we have here today is a really special guest, Song Richardson who is the Dean of the University of California at Irvine Law School, here to talk with us about innovation. Very excited. Song, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it is a pleasure. I have long wanted to meet a Dean of a law school. I once really? I, yes, really? I have, actually. I, I did a You're one once. of the few. I know. <laughs> Well, I just think that there are, besides besides law and order, right? And and there's there's order. there's such a um, a mystique about law. I feel mm, like you know true. you you feel like there are like these you know these super plush books and like the <laughs> mahogany desks and you think of it as kind of like traditional and and mm -hmm. as kind of um, kind of the uh, the underpinnings of our society yeah, in, right. in a lot of ways, right? And so I'm super curious about what you're doing at the law school and how you're taking that traditional security in mm -hmm. the trust that we have placed in the law and, and making it innovative. Oh, what a great question. So first of all, I love the way that you describe the traditional view of law school mm -hmm. because it is exactly what we don't want to ah, be. Ah, see, perfect. Yeah. So it really <laughs> the it, it is, perfect. It is the so, timing's perfect. It is so perfect. Mm -hmm. So we are a new law school. Mm -hmm. We're 10 years old. And when we began 10 years ago, people kept saying to us, why are you starting a new law school? We don't need another one. Right? Mm -hmm. And we said, we agree. We don't need another one of those traditional mm -hmm. law schools that aren't forward looking, that don't think to the future mm -hmm. and are mired in the past. Mm -hmm. So we have done so much to think it for the future. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one example. Artificial intelligence, emerging technologies. Mm, love it. That is something our school will be focused on and take a leadership role in because we've already shown in 10 years that we can do anything mm. because we're not mired in tradition and not mired in the past. Oh, I love that. And AI is something I'm, I'm very, very interested in because mm -hmm. um, I'm also the chief marketing officer of a Salesforce consulting company. Ah, and great. so we talk about AI like mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. in our day jobs and we frequently run into ethical and legal issues. Exactly. Right? You know, are chatbots really what we should be yes, doing? Yes, exactly. How does GPR, GDPR compliance like figure into the AI, yes. mm -hmm. you know, in different countries and how are emerging technologies impacting our ability to communicate really? So it, Exactly, and those are the questions mm -hmm. that our entire faculty is thinking about right now. And what makes UCI innovative in this area is that every single one of our faculty members will be asking the important questions, the ones that you just raised, in every single area of the law, mm -hmm. which is something that other law schools simply can't do. Because as a dean, I know you cannot tell law professors what to do. Right? And <laughs> I was a law professor myself. You can't tell me what to do. It's hard to tell but lawyers what to do. Exactly. And law hard. professors are just the Another extreme, step. Right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But what makes UCI so different is all of us came to the school because we believed that we could come together to transform legal education. Wow. And that's what we've done, and that's why we can take this leadership role Absolutely. in examining the critical questions that surround these emerging technologies. That is so interesting. I understand that you have a campaign currently yes. to raise awareness for the emerging technologies mm -hmm. and, and kind of the thrust of the school. Can you tell us a little more about that? Sure, so it's exciting. Uh, the entire university just launched their Brilliant Futures campaign. Nice. And so we are part of that campaign. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do over the course of the next five to ten years is rebrand the law school across the country. Mm. So we are very well known in the West Coast, mm -hmm. uh, partly because we're 10 years old, but we were ranked number 21 mm -hmm. and then number 23 uh, as a top law school wow. across the country. Wow. Unheard of, never happened before. Especially with you know such a short time. Exactly. What a huge credit to you. It's just you a must wonderful be personally thing. innovative. <laughs> I view all of us as being yeah, our entire yeah. faculty mm -hmm. um, came and to the law school, left their cushy jobs at other top 20 schools mm -hmm. to take a chance on a startup. 
Mm. That's basically what well, we that's were. That's innovation. We were itself. a startup. Exactly. So we, mm -hmm. we got to rewrite the rules for legal education. Um, and so our campaign is all about letting the rest of the country and the globe know about the incredible things we're doing at the law school and asking people to join us. Oh, That's what we want. This. Join us in our ability to continue to innovate um, and pay attention to what's good for the community, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's another one of our defining characteristics, is mm -hmm. uh, really thinking about public service and how we can give back to our local, national, and global communities. This is absolutely yeah. incredible. To, is have, to have this kind of education in our backyard. Liter literally <laughs> right? my backyard. Really? I mean, literally <laughs> my backyard. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I know. It, it makes me want to go back to school. I Please know. come back but to school. Let's, well, because I always did think I would be an attorney. So I come from attorney. a family of medical doctors. Yeah. I was going to be the malpractice specialist. Oh. Fortunately, none of them ever needed me, so I could go on <laughs> and do my other things. But I, I love the law. I love the whole concept of justice, mm -hmm. and I love your history because you have not. That is another thing. People who have always been in academia mm -hmm. rarely break out of that traditional mindset. But you don't come from academia, so <laughs> that's true. Tell us a little bit about your history. Uh, sure. So I never ever imagined that I would be in academia. I never imagined I'd be a law professor, let alone a dean of a law school. Like I, if you had told my past self that this is where I would be, I would have laughed, right? <laughs> uh, especially because I couldn't speak in public. Right, I was incredibly shy. I still am. That is um, so hard to believe. It's right? talking with me right now. <laughs> She's You're amazing. a natural. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but this is what you know. I tell my students. Yes. Right. You can do whatever you want mm -hmm. to do, and really, all it requires is saying yes to opportunities as they present themselves, which is what I've ended up doing my entire life. Which is why, why yeah. I'm. I guess I'm here today. So I was a public defender. Um, once I graduated from law school. Before that, I was a concert pianist, and so mm -hmm. I've done like all sorts of different things. Um, but being a lawyer for so long, especially a public defender for so long, you have to be an optimist, mm -hmm. right? You have to innovate. Mm -hmm. You have to figure out if everyone's going left, how do I go right, mm -hmm. right? You, you have to see Absolutely. the different ways of proceeding as a public defender, right? Mm -hmm. and, and now as a professor, and then now as dean. Mm -hmm. And so all of the experiences that I've had in my life, um, including growing up in an interracial family with a Korean immigrant mother, an African-American officer in the military, all of these experiences mm -hmm. have somehow come together in the most beautiful way um, for me in this position, this very lucky, privileged position um, that I have to work with incredible people. So. You know what I love about you, just getting to know you in this interview, is is you have used your past history to inform your future. Mm -hmm. And I think that is really the heart of innovation, right? Taking what you have and, and making it better and improving it, you oh, know, thank you. sequentially. No limitations. No limitations <laughs> right. and, and no stop to yeah. the iterations. And so, oh, no, that's true. What, mm -hmm. what Lauren just said, right? Yeah. Like, it's what people who work with me and our team always know is that if you tell me that I can't do something, that means we're going <laughs> to do it. Me. Exactly. <laughs> I can't help it. It's probably a strategy among her team. They're like, we really want to do this. Yeah. So let's tell Song we can't do yeah, right. this. Right. <laughs> I never thought of that. I'm going She's back got, to the office and exactly. I'm going to say, are you She's doing got this? five kids. She's got it down for the reverse psychology. Oh, so, and yeah. they're so smart they are. that you are totally right. I am positive of it. I'm, I will ask them. So thank you so much for coming in and sharing this. Thank you. I would love to have you back so that we can follow on and see how you're doing. There's with so the much more to with, talk yeah. about. Absolutely. So let's say we want to get involved with this campaign. Mm -hmm. How can we contribute to the university and especially to the law school? Oh, thank you. What a wonderful question. So many ways that you can contribute. So our students, for instance, they are always looking for new and different types of opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, we've already expanded the opportunities that they have available to them. Uh, working with CEOs, for instance, working with uh, general counsel, mm -hmm. for instance, coming to a show like this mm -hmm. to share the mm -hmm. incredible things that they're doing in their careers, that's great. Uh, getting the word out 
about the law school mm -hmm. and all of the things that we are doing at the school that can contribute to things that are going on in Orange County and beyond are other ways. So we, we welcome everyone. We really want people to, to join us okay. as we think about changing the world. And where can people find information if they do want to connect? Yep, they can find it on our website. Okay. So that would be law.uci.edu. And then our campaign will be on that front page, and they can get more information there. Perfect. All right, we'll go and visit. Thank Wonderful. You so much. Thank, Thank you, you for coming on the show and for being such a great example of innovation and helping us get involved in it as well. Thank you for having me. We'll see you again. And we'll see you again. We'll be right back. <laughs>